What's up YouTube? We're doing a tutorial today about the Planner Tracker in Fusion in DaVinci Resolve 16. I'm going to give you some tips and tricks today. The Planner Tracker is actually really useful. It allows you to track almost anything. I mean, you could track this right now. You could, this light. You could do whatever you want. You can do some cool effects and what I like about it is you sort of can create some propaganda in your videos. You can put those things on your Instagram account, your Facebook page or introductions to your YouTube videos. The Planner Track is one of those tools that you need to practice to get it right. So let me show you an example and then we'll get straight into DaVinci Resolve 16 and show you how to do it. This is a public service announcement. Stop what you are doing. Yes you. Where is your mask? Maybe you should go home and subscribe to the how-to guy. It's outrageous that you haven't already done so. So within DaVinci Resolve 16, I have a drone shot with a building in the background and me doing some hand movements and that's going to be overlaid on the side of the building. So drag that clip and make sure they line up. Control B to cut that clip. And then what we want to do is select both those clips, right click and go new fusion clip. Now open up your fusion tab and press F2 to rename the one clip to background. And the media in two we're going to rename to make it mask for example now i don't actually need both the viewer windows open so if you click this little button on the top it will reduce it to one i also don't need the mask attached at the moment so we'll just detach that now what you want to do is left click the background node press shift space bar and search for planner tracker press add and that'll add a new node in between the background and the merge node it's very important to start at the beginning of the timeline when you do tracking now there's two types of trackers, a point and a hybrid point slash area. Point trackers track points from frame to frame, but internally it just tracks small patterns. The point tracker also has the ability to reject any points that fall outside of the particular tracker. Now the other one is the hybrid point area. The hybrid considers the whole area when tracking. You can use the hybrid tracker across all the pixels in a pattern. Unlike the point tracker, the area tracker does not possess the ability to reject parts of the pattern which means you sometimes have to create your own occlusion masks. The hybrid tracker is more accurate and less prone to wobble and jitter, but I think it's best to use a point tracker if there's more contrast and a hybrid tracker when there's less contrast. So if I did choose hybrid and the motion type as perspective, I just have to click that set button in order to set the reference frame of zero on my particular tracker. Then I'm gonna mark out a few points, including those little windows to give a little bit of contrast and the side of the building. I know it's not straight, but I did that to give a little bit of contrast. This will hopefully prevent wobble. Then click track to end on the right hand side. Notice it didn't work. This is our first test, so we need to go back and click set to clear all the keyframes again, and click OK, and let's change this to translation, rotation, and scale, the motion type. That sometimes works when perspective doesn't work. Now when we click track to end, we get a slightly better result, and let's just look at the end to make sure that there's no wobble, and right at the end it does jump out, but I think that's quite a good track result. So what I'm going to do is try and find the frame where it jumps, and that looks like around 291. And I'm going to click this little button that deletes all the track markers after that point. Now I go back to the starting point, and all I need to do is click on my planner tracker, go to the top right, and choose corner pin. Now I can simply drag on my little corner pin over the top of the building. Now we can bring in our original image again. Right click that little gray box, drop it over the planner tracker, choose corner pin. All we need to do now is actually play through our clip and make sure that none of the corner pinned image starts jumping out of the building. And you'll see that as we get to the end, it does actually move across and out of the building. But we can actually fix that. Let me show you a little tip. So what you actually need to do now is click on your planner tracker, go to the right hand side, drop down that little corner pin drop down. Make sure your timeline is in the beginning and click all those particular red keyframes. Now go right to the end where it was actually jumping out, which was around 291, and slowly keyframe the image out of the way frame by frame. This will give us the effect we need. It's a little bit quick and dirty, but it does actually work. Now if we play it back, we see another problem. The corner pinned image is overlapping over the front of our background. And that doesn't give us good perspective. We can fix that by adding a polygon in and simply going to the first frame and masking it out. Just make sure you connect up about four dots. 
And then what you need to do is actually connect it up, right click that little gray box, drop it over the planet tracker and choose effect mask for this one. If you don't see what you like, click on the invert thing on the top right. Now you can see it works correctly, but we need to go forward about, let's say 50 frames and just make sure you pull the entire thing. It'll automatically keyframe it smoothly and then go some long way in the future, maybe like 180 into the future and then drag the entire mask out the way. Whoops, not like that. Drag the entire mask out the way and this should smoothly keyframe everything for you. To make your overlay look even better, click the planet tracker and make sure you go to the right hand side and choose the apply mode as overlay. This will show the windows through in the background which makes it look a little bit more natural. Where is your mask? Maybe you should go home and subscribe to the how-to guy. It's outrageous that you haven't already done so.